I saw the time and I just could not believe it because that time was 10 seconds better than my best time going into the meet. In July 1976, Cheryl Gibson won a silver medal at the Montreal Olympics. Gibson's teammate, Becky Smith, won bronze. The gold medalist was Elrique Tauber of East Germany. For Gibson, it was the race of her life. Like I was able to do exactly what I'd hoped to do and executed it. And therefore, nobody could take that away from me. Well, she was in the pool quite early in grade three. And, and how long was it before you knew she was going to be an elite level athlete? Oh gosh, it was a long time. She must have been a teenager, probably 12 or 13. I was pretty mediocre <laughs> for quite a while. I would have been about 14 when things started to change. I would go to provincial championships and swim just about every event and medal in just about every event. At the age of 16, Gibson was named to Canada's national team for the Montreal Olympics. Among her teammates was Nancy Garapik, who in 1975 set a world record at the age of 13. I see pictures now and I realize how young we were. When Gibson and her teammates arrived in Montreal, they went to the Olympic pool to train. They mingled with swimmers from other nations, except one. As far as the Americans, Australian had a pretty good knowledge of those people. That just wasn't true for the East Germans. You just didn't know a lot about them. First time we got into the Olympic pool, like most Olympics, they're in a mass rush to get things completed. So I came around the corner and I heard these deep voices and I thought, oh gee, there's workmen in the change room. And I turned around and it was the East German women's swimming team. And there was a lot of talk about it because they were just bigger than other people, stronger than other people, the deep voices, all these sorts of things. The East German women dominated, winning 18 medals, 11 of them gold. Canada's female swimmers won six bronze and Cheryl Gibson silver. It was wonderful. I was just so excited, I just couldn't believe it. I know a lot of people think, well, you didn't get the gold medal, weren't you disappointed? Absolutely not. <laughs> I was so thrilled. I thought that was the greatest thing ever. 13 years after Montreal, the Berlin Wall came down. Secret files were soon uncovered. They revealed East German athletes were given steroids as part of a state-sponsored doping program that started in 1974. It's just that the East Germans didn't come out of the country, and because they were an Eastern Bloc country at the time, you didn't walk in and question them about anything. Olympic athletes caught doping today must surrender their medals. They are then reallocated to the runners-up who competed clean. In recent years, Canadian Olympic skier Becky Scott went from bronze to gold, and shot putter Dylan Armstrong went from fourth place to bronze when athletes who finished ahead of them were caught doping. But the International Olympic Committee says those rules were not in place in 1976. If you were presented with the proper evidence, could you go back, you know, even much longer than that? I'm sure that if, if a case like that came along, we would take whatever legal advice we, we could and, and say, all right, can you go back in the face of your own rules? I, I suspect not. If today's rules were applied to 1976, the 18 medals won by the East German female swimmers would have been taken back and reallocated. That would have boosted the medal count for Canada's women's swim team to 12, three of them gold. One of those gold medalists would have been Cheryl Gibson. All you can do at the end of the day is do what you can do. What, you don't get to control the whole world or <laughs> what other people are doing. So it just didn't bother me. But some of your teammates have had a really tough time getting past this. There's been articles written about how Canadians didn't win uh, a gold medal in 76, and somehow it's a reflection of the people who were competing that they didn't try hard enough or they should have done more, and it's embarrassing. How does a 14 or 15-year-old cope with that kind of pressure? It's difficult, right? 
Very difficult. A decade ago, 167 former East German athletes received compensation for ongoing health issues related to the doping program. The 1976 women's swim team was among them. They took the money and kept their medals. Dick Pound says there's one long shot idea that might get those medals to the rightful owners. There are 15 athletes on the IOC who make up what's called the Athletes Commission. Pound says they could approach the East Germans directly. Why don't you as athletes go back to them and say, you know what was wrong, you know you did it, why don't you do the right thing? I think it would be nice for people to be recognized for the achievements that they actually had. Actually getting medals, taking them away from people and giving them to somebody else. I think only these Germans can do that. 